What's going on, creators? Yeah, just want to get on here and uh, bring everybody back to now. <laughs> Appreciate y'all being here and vibing with me for a bit. Uh, yeah, today I'd like to continue the, the conversation on mental diets and hopefully add something positive to your mental diet for today. Got a, kind of a dirty I got drywall shit and, and whatnot all over me, you know, working on a new uh, new job and for the handyman business. Um, yeah, we got a ceiling that uh, we're going to be uh, creatively trying to make look nice um, after lunch here. Um, right now, the homeowners are not happy with the uh, the texture that's on there, which is like, it's got shit like that thick. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I can't even sand it off. I've been trying to, and it's just not, not happening. And so I'm going to try to um, adjust and come up with a solution that works good for everybody. And yeah, the, um, the ceiling that we fixed already, you know, it turned out really nice and, you know, really confident that this one will go smoothly too. Um, yeah, but yeah, we'll find out in about an hour or so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of share this ebook I kind of uh, came across, The Subconscious Speaks. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, it's on Giving Voice to the Wisdom of the Ages uh, YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube channel. Um, I really like his channel. I, I spent a lot of time uh, listening to ebooks. He's got a really awesome like narrating voice. Uh, I think that was like what he did as like a profession was just like narrating audiobooks and like the books that he picks to uh, to add his voice to. I always find them like filled with truth on some level and um, I resonate with uh, not every single book, you know, but like a lot of the ones he has on his channel, a lot of good information on there. Um, but this one in particular has kind of got my attention because I've been actively working more and more so on like acceptance. Um, and, and what that means, like for the present moment, you know, is just trusting that, you know, everything unfolding is unfolding perfectly and kind of getting out of this, this, um, I kind of find it a stumbling block of always trying to, um, imagine and project, um, some imaginary future, which is constantly saying in the present moment there, um, you know, you're not accepting it in a lot of different ways. You're not accepting yourself then when you're not accepting the present moment. And so, um, getting more into this kind of, relationship with the subconscious mind is is fascinating on some level because it, it, it's something you would think it I, you know i was thinking of this the other you would think that there would be more attention placed on the subconscious because it literally um is you know pumping your heart and dividing your cells and you know all of these things that we just take for granted as like just normal but when you really stop and think of how intricate all that has to be this divine intelligence to like constantly bring healing you know if i cut myself you know i don't got to think about oh i need to send um you know some clotting cells and and shit to it and oh, let's get some 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 t cells and white blood cells in case there's an infection and so you don't got to think about any of that shit it just happens automatically and that's kind of a good metaphor for me i guess um as i think about like acceptance is is not to like sit there and accept like like dysfunction and chaos, but to recognize more and more so the inherent intelligence that's already present. And in um, that book, The Subconscious Speaks, it kind of um, puts more attention on the relationship uh, between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind and kind of merging those dynamics, which I, I feel like is really um interesting and it's something i'm like actively kind of putting on and testing it for myself and uh, testing all things you know it's like the bible would describe and improve what is like the acceptable will of god you know so you're supposed to be testing these different things and, and it, it resonates strongly with you know some of the other like maybe like new thought or metaphysics or you know just even the teachings of jesus you know just with different labels you know um i find it fascinating and it brought up the same concept the same dynamic that's it's over and over and over again, you know, it's this relationship of letting go of fear, you know, which stems from the old mind, the carnal mind, as the Bible described, the ego mind, as maybe psychologists would describe, um, letting go of that fear and this unconstructive mental chatter and being more deliberate in what you actually do desire and impressing the subconscious mind with your conscious mind. And also, you know, when it comes to mental diets, um, what, what are you allowing to impress your subconscious mind, which then reflects out everything into, um, into your perception of reality, you know? And so it's like, um, you know, if you're in a state of maybe scarcity or lack, for example, um, 
you know, then it's not uncommon then for you to start to see lack and scarcity being mirrored in your life situations, your, your relationships, your family, uh, your job, your not enoughness, you know, there's not enough uh, of these types of things. And where the subconscious uh, speaks book kind of elaborated more on, on that idea of, um, you know, where you see lack and scarcity and fear, you know, if you're thinking of that as like a minus, a a lack of love, the remedy, you know, which kind of corresponds with um, like A Course in Miracles and all, all sorts of different other books, you know, where it's just like even the Bible, um, you know, where it's like, um, you know, where you see scarcity, that being like a minus sign. And so you start to impress your subconscious mind with abundance thoughts, you know, thoughts of like abundance that, um, or an addition sign, you know, so it's like, there's only one energy, it's either a lack of it, or a flowing of it, and they compared like health that same way, where it's like sickness and, and disease, being a lack of love, where um, the remedy is to just acknowledge the, uh, the fact that God is our healer, there's only one divine intelligence, you know, that provides is the source for all things. And so um, as you kind of put your faith in that, in acceptance is in accepting that God is your healer, that it's only just, um, you know, if you have some sort of malady in your body or, or even some some weird condition manifesting in your in your space, in your life, in your circumstances, you know, instead of battling and resisting the fear of it, you know, you just need to add love, add, um, you know, God essence, God energy that is always abundantly given to you, you know, so it's like as simple as realizing that when you see um, illusion, when you see fear, uh, when you see that distortion, the remedy is to add love to whatever you're experiencing, because ultimately that's what you kind of desire anyway with um, what you do desire is just to feel and express love and form and it's many attributes of that you know because everything physical has a spiritual backing and once you realize that there's a spiritual backing that's connected with God's consciousness you know it's like everything in in, in form has a spiritual root in mind uh, if that makes sense and the more that you're able to kind of convince your conscious mind of that you, it is uh, then allowed to kind of impress the subconscious mind with that new belief, which then starts to mirror that uh, reality that God's already created these realities. You know, it's like creation's finished. And so it's like either either you have a distortion, which is a lack of that energy, or, or you have an abundant amount of that energy, which is given to you abundantly all the time. And, and it's in that recognition that God is a source for whatever your desiring is where um, that starts to reflect more and more of love um, being what you're seeing mirrored in reality. You know, and so um, it's something to kind of start to toy around with as these different things kind of hit your radar in the present moment. You know, just in, in your life, if you see these repeating patterns of like dysfunction or chaos, um, perceived chaos, realizing more and more so that, that the root of fear in a lot of ways is a belief in two powers or multiple powers um, and a kind of like um, a lack of faith in, uh, in, in that there's ultimately God's will um, playing out, superseding everything else. It's like the more that you put your faith and trust into, um, you know, God's reality, you know, the it, and, and basically you start to do that through renewing your, your mind because so much of the, the mind, especially if you're in your old mind, um, which um, everybody starts off in that. You know, you create a, an ego, you create a self, you create a illusion of self that's based on an idea that you're a brain and a body that's separate from your neighbors and separate from your life situations and separate from God and separate from love and separate from all these other things, you know, and then as you start to believe in that and you start to believe like um, the tree of good and evil, you know, you start to experience more and more of that being reflected in your life. But as you kind of focus your attention on the kingdom of God and God's righteousness, um, and you start to see like the tree of life, the connectivity of all things. And as you see the connectivity of all things, you start to um, experience more and more levels of that kind of awareness of that realization that everything's connected. And there's really nothing to be afraid of because only God's real. Um, 
and you start to know that through like experience by seeing that with your own eyes um more and more so each day you know so it's like the bible describes kind of like looking through a, a glass that's cloudy that's getting clearer and clearer as you're um kind of like actively building your faith renewing your mind and, and putting uh, in your subconscious more uh mental diet food that is beneficial that that aligns more and more so with the truth of who you actually are because this is all about like an identity um you know, so much of the old mind is an identity based on separation, which is not real. Um, and that's where the fear stems from is believing that there's all these separate, separate forces and everything, you know, but as you, as you observe those, those fears and start to build your faith, you know, ultimately you've already been given the faith of Jesus. It's about just realizing that you already have it now, you know, and that all of this is going on like within, you know, that's, that's part of this saying is like the old mind is constantly looking um, outside, you know, looking at the external for validation, looking for the outside uh, to, to, to create a feeling. But it's really the other way around. It's like you create the uh, the feelings of love, joy, and peace, and all the the fruits the fruits of the spirit. You know, it's like how how are you supposed to judge things, discern things? Maybe another way to say that it's not so triggering, where it's just like uh, you discern it by the the fruit. You know, so if it's good fruit, and that's you know ultimately does it does it or bad fruit? You know, bad fruit causes suffering and torment and feels like shit, whereas the as the um, as the other feels good you know and you can start to feel uh whether those are true thoughts or illusion error based thinking you know b based on you know whether it creates fear which is you know ultimately saying that you're believing that there's another force that rivals god you know ultimately um you know but that's for you to slowly start putting on day by day and as you do um you almost have an expectancy to start to see um the day unfolding more and more um, joyfully or, or, or more in harmony is another way to describe that. And then another thing you can start to do is just ask your subconscious mind to start to align to more uh, levels of harmony of um, God's law, which is, you know, love, love for neighbors as yourself and love, you know, loving God and loving your neighbors. You know, so like loving God is within you and then loving the outside then too which can sometimes be difficult, especially for, you know, if you're in the old mindset that feels like it has to have vengeance against everything on the outer, outer world, <laughs> including people, you know, having vengeance thoughts of people that have quote unquote uh, wronged you, you know, wanting to have, you know, having them suffer and learn their lesson, you know, type thing. Um, but I got to answer that. And so, um, you know, I appreciate everybody, um, liking sharing subscribing all the social networking things you know i appreciate that i also appreciate your spiritual support and your financial support you know thank you um for that and until the next um now god bless